Okay, in this video, I want to look at some Linux distros that maybe you've not heard of. Of course, some of you will have heard of them, but maybe you haven't heard of them, and maybe they are worth a look. Solus is a Linux distro that focuses on being a great desktop operating system without all the server baggage or that enterprise drama. It is the personal OS for a personal computer. Solus is a Linux system that is designed specifically for desktop use. Their slogan is basically install today, update forever. It's a curated rolling release system so you get up-to-date software without constantly reinstalling or jumping between versions. The team builds Solus the way they themselves use computers, as a general purpose desktop for everyday stuff like web browsing, office work, coding, content creation and gaming. The first reason to use Solus is that it's ready for normal people straight after you install. You get LibreOffice installed for example, so you can open and create documents, spreadsheets and presentations without having to go to the package manager to install extra stuff. There's a software center with curated apps for things like email, personal finance and other everyday tools. The goal here isn't to give you a bare system and wish you good luck on your voyage, it's to give you a desktop that you actually can use on day one. If you're setting this up for a non-technical friend or family member, that kind of polish really matters. Solus is also surprisingly good for developers. Out of the box, you can install support for a bunch of languages like C, Go, Rust, PHP, JavaScript, Ruby, and much more. You've also got access to the usual tools like Git and so on. And on top of that, Solus makes it really easy to install popular editors and IDEs like Visual Studio Code. And if you're working with containers, you've got tools like Docker and Vagrant available too. But Solus doesn't ignore fun stuff. For content creators, you can easily get GIMP or Inkscape for graphic. There's Caden Live or Shotcut for video editing and Muse Score or Mix for music related stuff. And for gaming, it supports Steam and Lutris. So if you want one OS where you can work, code, create and game, Solus should definitely be in that conversation. Now, many Linux distros try to be everything for everyone. Chaos does the exact opposite. It focuses on one desktop, one toolkit, one architecture, and that's what makes it so interesting. Chaos is an independent from scratch Linux distribution that only targets 64-bit x86 systems. It's built around KDE Plasma and the Qt toolkit. It's a rolling release with a curated quality over quantity approach to updates and packages. Unlike Arch, Ubuntu, etc., Chaos isn't a remix of someone else's work. Every package is built specifically for Chaos. The repositories are intentionally small and carefully picked. The first reason to use Chaos is its KDE only focus. Because Chaos only ships Plasma and mainly QT apps, everything feels cohesive, integrated. From the panels and the themes to the default apps, no weird mix of toolkits and desktops, no half integrations. Secondly, it's a rolling release, but not a chaotic one. Packages are kept fresh, core components get extra testing and everything is regularly rebuilt. The idea is to stay modern without breaking every week. Now Chaos does have limited repositories and for many users the options available will be plenty. But when that's not the case there is Pac-Man and the Chaos Community Packages. Linux Lite is a lightweight, beginner-friendly Linux distro designed to be simple, fast and familiar, especially if you're coming from Windows. It gives you a clean, classic desktop that just works without all the bloat. Out of the box, you get everything you need, a web browser, office suite, media player, tools for everyday work and good hardware support so that things like Wi-Fi and graphics usually work straight after install. One reason to use Linux Lite is that it's lightweight. Linux Lite runs smoothly on modest CPU and modest RAM, which makes it perfect for breathing life into older laptops and desktops. Secondly, it feels familiar. The layout is straightforward, menu bar, taskbar, system tray, just as if you were using Windows. The learning curve is not very big. The Lite Software app has a curated list of essential desktop apps, including browsers, productivity software, multimedia applications, and even Steam. 
Thirdly, it's secure and supported. You get updates, a solid base, and a helpful community with forums and documentation if you get stuck. Okay, that's it. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Have you tried any of these distros and what do you think of them? Okay, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one.